so hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we will cover this pre-assessment challenge lab so first of all click on start challenge and i have shared all the sheets in the description now here basically you have to just click on start lab and just by doing this challenge lab you'll get the entire batch until the pre-assessment section is live now first of all open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it is asking for username and password you can refer to the lab instructions now here just click on i understand now the next step is that from here you can see the navigation menu right here you can see on the left side here from here you have to just open the vertex ci dashboard how will open do not worry i'm showing you the steps so just click on this and just come to the dashboard the first thing we have to do is enable the api right we have to enable the recommended api so just stay tuned now from here just click on enable all recommended apis it will take some time so wait for it now once it is enabled it won't show like enabled you have just click on the workbench section you have to just open the notebooks workbench section if it is not visible try to scroll down maybe they get updated now the first thing is that this lab is little bit tricky so what you need to do you need to try to complete in the same zone like if you are facing issues especially on the task number four the first thing is that you have to reset the notebook then you'll be able to see the file just follow the way you have to just select the notebook and just click on this reset it will take some time basically a minute or even 15 to 30 seconds then it will be reset now here if you are facing issue on task number four try to do as same region as which i am using because chances are there this region is free and other are overloaded so they are not working properly so if you get error in that region try to complete when the lab shows this region and this is the problem in lab end. the solution is working very fine and it's working from the last four months still many of you are facing issue so here is the th thing you need to understand it's basically us east one day i think so so just click on open jupyter lab now chances are here you may get this kind of error right so if you are getting this kind of error then you have to just click on reload or you can come back and open the workbench okay you can come back and open the workbench and if it is still showing error for the last five to ten minutes then just restart the lab then only it will work otherwise you may face some issues and you won't be able to complete the lab so this thing i wanted to share with all of you now wait for the jupyter notebook to open once the jupyter notebook is ready click on this file now from here you can see we have to select python 3s kernel if the kernel is not visible you have to just select like this and the status you can see it's connecting okay once it shows idle we will move forward to the next step the first step is that we have to install the requirements for this particular lab so just come down over here and here you can see the first thing is that we have to install the genei sdk so just run it like this and after that we have to restart the kernel so basically sometimes what happens the kernel restart command is not shown over here in that case you have to click on this kernel and just click on the restart kernel but here it has already mentioned so just use this play button and wait for the kernel to get idle you will get this kind of pop-up click on ok and once you see the kernel as idle on the same circle box ok then you have to just move to the next shell and run it let me show you wait for few seconds and just come over here and run it like this now once you have run it we have to set up the basic projects initiation basically the basic project id or region over here so basically here we don't have to set the project id but update the region so if you have got this region see if you are getting any kind of error and unable to complete this lab if you are getting us east one you can try to complete this lab without any issue now just load the model and after that we have to do some task manually so just stay tuned here you can see we have to just calculate the average prices of the sneakers so here many of you are facing some kind of issue do not worry i will show you how you can fix it too just stay tuned first of all we will update the tool 
so just enter like this make sure to carefully enter the brackets full stop comma inverted commas or any type of different types of brackets like curly brackets and square brackets whatever is shown is the video you have to just follow along with me i have also shown the error part also so that you can understand and complete it so just stay tuned now here once it's done so once it is done after that we have to update the prompt section okay here i have made one error also i will tell you how to correct it so that you can test it and if you can correct it directly then it's well and good so here basically you have to just change the first prompt do not change the second prompt now here we have to just write it let me show you what is the you have to write similarly as i am writing in small case whether i am using small cases basically in small letters or basically in capital letters now after that we have to write the formula also so just write it like this make sure there is no spelling mistake it will be prices just stay tuned and also if you haven't liked the video yet do like the video and subscribe the channel now here we have updated it now all the things are correct i think so now we have to just run it okay if you have updated all the things mentioned as per the instructions then you have to just come over here and run it now here you can see we have got one error why we got one error because here you can see in the code execution tool we have added one underscore extra by mistake so you need to pay attention that you have added only one underscore okay we have added two underscore but you have to add only one underscore okay so make sure to please pay attention do not worry we will cover everything step by step even if we get error it's a part of learning process okay now just run it and if you are getting a number next to it basically in front of it then that means the work is done basically there is no error on that particular task and we have completed task 3 like this now we'll move forward to the task number 4 okay sorry task 2 has been done now we'll move forward to the task number 3 so once it is done come to the task number 3 and here also we have to add the google search tool and then the prompt and then one more thing will update if there it is so let's first of all copy it now the main thing is that what you have to do you have to copy the inverted commas also from the basically from the example after dot you have to just select everything by mistake i missed this inverted comma so do not miss it and update it because if you miss it you will get the error so i am explaining it in terms of voice conditions also otherwise many of you may make mistakes so do not worry we will cover everything now we have to just add the search tool so how will search the tool you have to just write it let me show how you have to just define the search tool so just type tool bracket google so let me define the search tool keep watching and just try to complete it once it is done what you need to do you have to just come down and do one more thing here you can see okay the response basically generating the response with grounding you have to just update the configuration so it will find the configuration you have to just write it here i think so so just write it like this as i am doing you have to just follow along with me and you'll get the score without any issue so please follow the video carefully now carefully update the generative tools configuration i am doing it slowly so that everyone can complete it without any issue 
and if i increase the speed chances are there you may miss the important things so just follow along with me and here we have updated the generative tool i think so so here just are the brackets and this is the important thing like every text every what we can say brackets inverted commas all are very important so you need to take care of it so watch this and if you feel this video is very slow you can just use it to x speed now here you can see we got one error why we got an error as i said earlier we forgot to add one inverted comma here but in the video i reminded you how you have to add the inverted comma so here basically you can see they have mentioned on the example what are the key features so here you have to just come over here and in the prompt section you can see let me show you here just after the prompt equal to where what is present you have to just add the inverted commas right so just come over there and just add the inverted comma like this let me show you how you have to add now when you run you'll get the output without any issue basically the number will be shown over there and that means we have completed this part also now come to the last task and many of you are facing issue on this particular task only now here if you have followed the basically as i have done in the lab and also if you have got this region if the lab is not fixed you will be able to complete this lab with this region so try to just to win this region only and as long as they don't fix it now just come to this part and here also we have to make some modifications so just carefully watch it and if you want to check the score just check the score from the lab instruction just check the score finally we will come to the task number four you have to just copy the response schema okay just copy the name you can double click also or just type it also there is no issue now from here at the bottom you can see the to do section you have to just paste it replace it carefully now once this is done okay once this is carefully done you need to just come over here let me show you and then here you can see multiple values we have to update basically the query so for query just replace the entire query from here to here carefully replace it and then just type as i am typing okay So once you have typed it like this, finally all the settings are saved. Now let's run it and see whether it's working or not. Also let me verify whether all the things are correct or not. So here basically run it and here you can see we have got the response. Okay, so this is how we complete the lab. Now chances are there you may face issue in getting the score in such cases try the region basically here we have us east one so restart the lab again and check whether we are getting this region or not and also if you face any issue do let me know in the comment section that was all about this tutorial and for other lab free courses and skill badges do check the description box of this video do join the telegram channel and that's all about this video subscribe the channel for more and thank you guys have a great day ahead also I will show you how you can get the batch so just wait
so after that basically once you see 100 out of 100 you have to just click on the end lab and just click on the courses section okay just click on the end lab come back to the courses section 